Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, I'm in Pinjarra today and I'm doing my pre-intro here because this is the WA Skydiving Academy. It's been shut down because of COVID, but I was just speaking to Robin. He reckons they'll be open again in three weeks for licensed jumpers. And then later on, it'll be for students again. Um, if you, They're still doing tandems on Rottnest Island. But yeah, this is where I did the majority of my skydives. Uh, out of 57, it's not really a lot, but I probably did about 35 of them here, maybe. And um, I'm going to show you around Pinjarra, but let's roll the intro. Yeah, so a lot of memories here. Used to drive down of a Friday night, jump all day Saturday, get a bit drunk Saturday night, jump all day Sunday and go home Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah. Now, Hoops was supposed to be doing this one with me today, this video, but he had a bit of a family thing that he couldn't get out of, just found out. So, he's still hoping he'll be able to get here this afternoon. If he does, he does. If not, hey Hoops. Now, the green sign you can see there in the distance. That's the Southwest Highway, that's how I came from Perth. That takes you to Waruna and Harvey and Bunbury. We've been up that road a few times. Well, in the videos, I've been up there a million times in my life. But I'm showing you this because we've just turned off on the Williams Dwelling Up Road. And that's where I just showed you the skydive clubs just up here. Well, this is the 24 hour park bay. And as you can see, it's a pretty popular one. Um, it's it's got no dump it's only self-contained vans again there's no dump you've got to keep all your wastewater or your grey water um, but this is it the train station over there and this beautiful old building here's the premier hotel when we were jumping we'd come in here on a saturday night have something to eat get a little bit drunk 1894 this was built but um let's go in and have a cold drink Us in so now we're at the Edenvale complex, a lot of original buildings from the area. This one's a St John's Church. The original church here was just a, a bush shack, well not even just what we call a humpy. And that was in 1842 but this one was built in 1861. And just near Edenvale, there's the church there. This is the main bridge in town. Kids car park just there, but this uh, mural was done by Claire Pratt. She's very proud of it, and I can see why. Hello, Claire. And this is the Heritage Rose Garden. Um, this is the local war memorial, Anzac Park. I'm not sure which they call it, but it is the put here for the soldiers that died. As I've said to you before, but for the new subscribers. Most of my videos you'll see me showing stuff about World War I and World War II because we're, we're a very, very young country and um, we didn't have Romans invading us 2,000 years ago or anything. This is all... World War I was what made Australia what we are today. And this is the old school from about 1896. That was the old schoolmaster's house there. And um, let's go and check out the markets across the road. And this is a local market every second Sunday it's no second Sunday of every month that's a better way of putting it there's the museum let's go in and have a look and we'll make the code word market you ready come and see us at the markets have a word. Um, this is a pretty sad horrible part of our history but in 1834, there was a family of Binjareb people, the local Noongar people. About 70 or 80 of them were camped here. And a troop of about 25 colonial soldiers came past and there was a bit of a battle. They call it the battle, but really it was... Yeah, in the history books, it's called the Battle of Pinjarra, but in the real world, it's known as the Pinjarra Massacre. Captain Ellis was killed, but an estimated 20 to 30 Bunjarab people were killed. 
and that's what's known of. There's no idea how many of them got washed into the river and washed away, how many of the local people died from their wounds later on. So yeah, this is a pretty horrific part of our history. Now, I was in two minds whether to show this, the massacre, I'm just over there. But when we were in Cambodia, we went to the killing fields. I didn't take one single photo because I thought that was disrespectful. I thought going there was very important, acknowledging what had happened, but I didn't take any photos. But here, I thought it was quite important that we acknowledge the things we did, horrific things we did. Acknowledging you've seen in most of my movies, in a lot of my movies, I, I always acknowledge the local people. At the edge in town is the Pinjara Harness Racing Club. Horse racing is a big thing in Pinjara. The harness racing in West Australia, we call that trotting the trots. And, uh, but it's a big thing, they've got a racetrack at the other side of town, so if you're into the horses, it says here pacing Monday, I'm not sure, it's got no date up there, but yeah, just check when you're coming, you can come and see the races. And we'll make the code word, horse. And straight across the road from the trotting club is the, the cemetery. Now there's a lot of pioneer cemeteries in here. There's some very, very old headstones. But like I've said in a few videos, be respectful guys, because it still is a working cemetery and this is a pinjara bakery here best meat pies i've ever eaten i will show you these properly once i can get a helmet on my head again start riding again a group of us they've got another shop in mandra and one in waruna and if you eat at all three you get a free t-shirt so like i said as soon as i can be riding the bike again a group of us are going to do the t-shirt run and I'll show you Pinjara Bakeries properly then, but for now I'm going to go in and get a pie. And now we're at Red Zoo, or Ranger Red Zoo. Um, it used to be known as the Peel Zoo, so if you're googling it, it might come up as Peel Zoo. Um, that's P-E-E-L. Um, let's go and have a look. Hi guys, I'm Ranger Lily and I'm here with one of our Bobtail Skittle. If you want to come have a look at this guy in person, be sure to visit Ranger Red Zoo and Conservation Park. Well, that was really worth a visit guys, make sure you put this on your list. Such a happy bunch of workers and when the workers are happy, the animals tend to be happy. It really was. And we'll make the code word zoo. I want to take this chance to thank everyone. When I, whenever I go to a town, I've told you before, I post in Facebook and I get heaps and heaps of suggestions on what to see. And I, I'll start by apologising to the people of Pinjara. There's no way I'm going to be able to show everything. But the whole idea of these videos is to give wet people's appetites so they want to come and visit themselves. But this is the Red Cliff on the Murray beautiful restaurant, licensed restaurant. I'm going to go in and have some lunch, but I would never have known this was here if it wasn't for the suggestions on Facebook. So everyone, whether it's this video or my past videos or future videos, if you've made a suggestion, thank you very much. You're part of making these videos. Well, that was a great lunch. I think the Palmy beat Williams. I think this is the best one I've had. And there's a little bridge here. Walk bridge over there. Oh, wow. It's more impressive than I thought. I was just going to show you from here, but I'm actually going, going to walk across to the other side. This is the Murray River. Well, not much water in there, but this is the Murray River. Well, that wasn't the main river. It's the main river there. This is just going over the little offshoot of the river so you can get to the river. So down here is the Alcoa Pinjara Alumina Refinery. 
you can do tours and I just went in there to double check I'd been told before you can do tours I went in there to double check and yes I'll leave a link in the description down below like I always do on how you can find information on the tours if you're interested in going and finding out how an aluminum and a refinery works is it weird how excited I got when I saw this building just amazing now I'm going to go in and get a bit of information I'm going to be really disappointed if it's a replica because this is just gorgeous well I'm sad but I'm happy it's um it's an art gallery in there but it's shut but I did find the caretaker and he told me the original building was falling apart so they spent years rebuilding it just as a volunteer group and the uh, Guys, I can't remember if he said 1984 or 2004, but it was one of those two. A couple of days before the governor of Western Australia was supposed to come down and open it, the grand opening, it burnt to the ground. So, this is a replica. This isn't the original, but they've done it so well. I think they've used all original woods that, that's been taken from other places. Just amazing. When I came, when I drove in, the driveway here and saw this it caused made my heart skips just amazing but anyway guys i'm going to go and have a bit of a look around oh this is fairbridge by the way just at the northern end of town i forgot to say um, i'm going to go and have a bit of more of a look around then i'm going to head home and this is old fairbridge house um, it's a museum now but it's shut it always happens to me but guys all through here there's all these old houses like the ones i showed you before a lot of them are original it's just amazing and it's all accommodation you can come and start you can book these there's some you know with just a few beds there's some with you know 30 or 40 beds just amazing and i've been coming to pinjara all my life i didn't know this was here just beautiful i'm going to go and look around some more show you a bit more look at this this is what's all over the place just beautiful and this old one here this was originally the hospital for the little town of Fairbridge. And this is, there's probably 20 or 30 of these buildings, guys. They're just everywhere. It's amazing. And I, I, like I said, I didn't know where this was. And the caretaker, he was so proud of the work they've done here. And I, I can understand why. As he was telling me about the place, he had a big grin on his face. And he said, oh, you've got to go and have a look at the old hospital, which is this one. Just just amazing i'll go closer and we'll make the code word buildings plural buildings and i'm so impressed with this i'm going to do my outro here what a place to do it um pinjara amazing guys i haven't shown you half of what's available what's available to see here it's just I'm surprised I've been coming here all my life it's about an hour out of Perth straight down Southwest Highway if you go keep going south you'll get to Waruna and Harvey that I've showed you before if you go back north you're going back to Perth um, I know I've only done a couple of code words today guys but if you don't know what they're for I'll put a link up here explaining how you can win a Mavic Mini drone if you haven't subscribed yet hit the mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below give me a big thumbs up Share this video everywhere you can and um, we'll see you in the next one.